So here are two more examples of how we solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So just to remind yourselves, the quadratic formula solves a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. You need to get it in this form first so that we can read off a, b, and c. a is our x squared coefficient, b is our x coefficient, and c is our constant term. So the quadratic formula solves a quadratic equation with this formula. This is the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So when you have a quadratic equation, we have a couple of solution methods now. So you might try factoring because factoring is the fastest if it factors. Not all quadratic equations factor, which is why we have these other tools. This one, eh, I think I'd spend more time trying to factor it than it would take me to use the quadratic formula. So I'm going to go ahead and go there. So identify a, b, take the sign with b, and c. a is 5, b is negative 3, c is 10. And then we're plugging into the formula. So this is something you're going to need to have memorized. That quadratic formula is very important, and it doesn't go away. So x equals negative b. Well, b is currently negative 3, so I need to change that to a positive 3. Negative, negative makes a positive. So 3 plus or minus square root. Now here's another tricky part. I need b squared. b is the whole number, is the entire number, negative 3. I need that whole thing squared, so that first one under the radical is always positive. Minus 4 times 5 times 10. 4ac, the minus sign is part of my formula, so that minus sign's there for that, all divided by oh, 2a, but a is being played by 5. All right, I'm running out of room, so we'll do some of those calculations in our head. So 3 plus or minus, here, we'll write it in up top here. So I have 9 minus uh, 20 minus 200. 9 minus 200, that would be, what, negative 191? All over 10, 2 times 5. Willing to be wrong on my arithmetic there. And then since we've talked about imaginary numbers, we'll go ahead and take that negative under the radical out. So I'll have an i in front. 191, I'm not willing to look for perfect square factors. I'm going to get on with my life. So I'm going to leave it like that. Notice I have two answers, 3 plus i times the square root of 191 over 10, and 3 minus i times the square root of 191 all over 10. All right, second example. Let's move a little faster. So factors of 4 that add to give 7, leading coefficient was 1, can't find them. That means I can either complete the square, which I don't want to do, or I can use my quadratic formula, which is what we're studying, so that's what we'll do. So a is 1 b is 7, c is 4, and then let's go ahead and plug those into our formula. So x equals negative 7 plus or minus square root, b squared is 49, minus 4 times a, which is a 1, times c, which is a 4, all over 2 times a, a is 1 again. So again, some of that arithmetic in your head. 49 minus 16, okay, I can't do arithmetic in my head. 49 minus 16 is 33. No perfect square factors there. So there are the answers.